All right, so that was a short one with Joanne Joanne Summit run from the movie Theory of Everything. Look at us getting classical. Yeah, it's great. It's I really love young. that. That's one of my favorite scores. And like that piece plays, I think, throughout the movie. I've definitely heard the second part. Yeah. A lot. Um, it was very, very familiar. I don't remember the movie though. I just remember it being good. Yeah, it was re- I left out of a shot. Um, but one thing I was going to say is imagine someone comes to you and says, Yo, I want you to compose music for a scene. But here they say, You never saw the movie before. Oh, well, they don't do that. It's, so the director says to the composer, Yeah. He kind of tells them what he wants from that scene. Yeah. His ideas. And then the composer, most of the time, uh, composes with the, the screen. <laughs> Sorry. With the shot. With. Camera guy? Yeah, no. Sorry. The composer normally records while the scene is playing on a projector. Oh. Yeah. So it's not like I never saw this before. No, it's okay. It's maybe sometimes like that, but they drive not always. I think it's still if a feat, though. It's still a feat. It's still people take it for granted. I think it's really underrated, um, especially when you're doing big budget movies and yeah, you know this music is gonna be heard by everyone. The score had to be good. Yeah. And like like look at Marvel like their scores don't really stick out to you. Other like Black Panther score, none of the scores really pull out you know. You know, I never really you see? paid attention. Yeah, okay, so, but then Star Wars. Yeah, or Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, tons of more. These, yeah, you're right, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm liking this segment a lot. Um, anything else? Any words? Parting words on... No, that's just taking all... Uh, all. If you haven't watched Arrival, watch Arrival. That score's great, too. And a great movie. Um, yeah, it's taking through everything again. I hope I have the time. Yeah, the music. I think music is the best part of that movie. Honestly, it really adds. Uh, it feels like the heart of that movie is the music. Because without music, like the scenes are the scenes. Though. They don't really. They don't I have, know. Sometimes they don't have an emotional weight. Music is such a big part yeah. of film, and if you have music that is like off beat or just off what the scene is trying to capture yeah people will go dog that music sucks not just that it just like it takes away from the scene yeah you know so i feel like a music nerd and i don't yeah. even know about yeah. i don't even compose it yeah um so next segment yeah that pushes us into the next segment non-western selection all right um another favorite and yeah the music gods are good to us what we got what I got. This was suggested by my friend called Ala. Mm-hmm. Um, you'll meet her when she comes down for March. Right. So, this is a band from Lebanon. So, they're, they're going to be singing in Arabic. Just a note, I haven't listened to it. But she, she recommended it. And she was like, you're going to like it. And I'm like, great, I don't want to hear it. So, I'm just going to read to you their Spotify bio. Right. And it hopefully should get you pretty hyped. So... The song is called Jin by Mashru Layla. Mashru Layla, an indie band born out of Beirut, Lebanon. They're soaring sensual electro pop anthems about political freedoms, LGBT rights, race, religion, and modern Arabic identity have challenged the status quo of Middle Eastern pop industry. Nice. With that intro, let's take it in. Yeah, let's take it in. <laughs> 